gold. They are spinning in the shanty gold currently. Uh, delightfully entertaining their fans with some exciting ball! Did you see that coming from Ari Darko? Did you see that from this man? It didn't look like a helpful ball, but it is helpful now. Ashanti Gold have taken the lead, and Eric Dunk on the left full back, the unlikely, unlikely goal scorer. He has done it, and they have taken the lead. What a goal! An absolutely beautiful goal from Eric Dunk. Just look at that one. It didn't look like it was zooming straight into the net, but it did currently finds itself there. Up here, Bacati. Oh! Off the woodwork, back into... Well, just look at this one. When Amos said I gave the ball down to Mumuni, not the pass of control, but it was able to take off his man, Mokadem. And then when Dio came in, he simply couldn't get so Mumuni just found a way to get the ball and hit it for his fourth goal. Well, the most important thing about this uh, the Africans is their strong set piece play there. Uh, so the fans are looking to make sure that this does not hit the back of the net. It's Crouch who has the opportunity. It's Crouch here. And this off it goes. Probably be the last kick there for the Moroccans. Oh, so look to end the first half here with Ashgord who have been so dominant in the game. And that's the wistful ball there from this man. Zaid Crouch. Ball into the box has been brought down. The plus to requirement at the time when it was with Marcia Sante Kodoko, but again he's been able to prove his worth in the game and has shown some interesting play here with Ashanti go looking to get a third. Here comes Anabila looking to add it. So we're gonna get uh, Aurelio in there and eventually. And again the flag up for offside. And it's gonna look like a Here's another lovely ball in and they get a goal back. Ares Bacani pulls one back to make his 2-1. 50 minutes gone in the second half. And it's Ares Bacan who simply has done Ashanti Gold with a goal here. Asko 2, Bacani 1. Just look at the ball in the box. It's a diving head up to the near post and yet he's been able to find the back of the net. And now the players of Ashanti Gold down for the surprise as a captain, Mohamed Aziz, who's able to do that. And the team is uh, absolutely excited. 34 years of age. Expected Bakani to quickly come in with a goal. And they have equally done so. Ash Gold looking to find his place with a goal with this one. To Yechu. And Yechu does the lovely ball, hits it into the game. And it is from Boateng with that swear to get the ball and he elbows his man the blunt side of the referee it's the Moroccan so we are true send the ball to the far post there and uh, from Boateng was able to get the ball and as soon as he was able to get to that one yeah rushed on him and Boateng just extended his so they have a goal to show for the for Alice in the early match in the second half. And uh, their coach, the assistant coach, I should say, Adil Siraji, is complaining. He has been complaining since the start of the game there to the... Uh, from the right full back, advertising another long ball to the far post here. Eric Donko does get it down. Beautiful play, Ash Gold. Yet again, this could be a moment where they can strike from this range. Uh, the goal is... So now we're going to have a set piece. You see Mubarak with a yellow card confirmation. Ball deep into the box. 
Well, and again, the flag went up for an offside, but at least the call came in very late. Looking to hit this one. Opportunity comes, they hit it, and they have a second goal! Would you believe this? R.S. Bekan from two goals, then it's 2-2. Two -two. This is absolutely turning out to be something else. As Shantigo thought they had finished the job, but R.S. Bekan had different ideas. Yes, different ideas. And Hamdi Lachu does find a second goal for the Moroccans. Poor defensive play. He tried it from this point. Mubarak couldn't deal with it. And his second effort straight into the net. And that is the second goal. He's been working out for it. Ashko to RS Bakan. Here comes Ashko Shafiu again in the box, looking for some bit of space. Ball cleared off his feet. Turns the ball back. Need a lot of effort there. It's going to be a corner kick. Well, fans of Ashanti Gold can't just believe what is happening. Who has been messed in this game, probably playing a part and dying with the ball. Yeah, and it's a goal. Well, the decision has to be given. Yes, it is. It is 3-2. Ashanti Gold back in front. This game is really showing something dramatic, isn't it? But can never got to enjoy the second goal that match. And Ash Gold back in front again. Another defensive frailty there from the Americans. And Ash Gold would say that they. Uh, particularly excited about their performance. Let's look at it again. The near post. Ooh. Oh, that poor play there from Kim McCarthy. And uh, he gives away a free kick. And it's a uh, Tempest to play up here. Lovely ball here. And it's going to be an opportunity yet again for them to strike. And Lachi was waiting patient until Lachi on that one. That's another ball there. It's now Bicardo with a free kick here. Trying to make sure that this ball is getting to the half of the position. Ashanti Gold will get the ball to go give up from Boateng. Get it down. Good job, Mwakon will get it down quickly on the right hand side. And Mwakon just the ball into the far side. And it's definitely going to be returning to the box. And Nkrumah ball here. And between uh, Osei Ajiman and uh, Mubarik. It is Nabil. And Nabila goes to ground. Another free kick opportunity there for the uh, Miners. Two players clapping on each other there. It's going to be a free kick. Well, let's look forward to this ball to in the back of the net. And goalkeeper Larabi comes out. He's been bitting and it makes a diving catch on that one. In Egypt. Ready Nadi scored in the 31st minute and Ibrahim Aman scored in the 57th minute. Harry Donko. Well, that's a poor play there. Makon. Another ball into the box has been cleared away by Naji Labi. Akame Kong. Looking to hit this one. And uh, Zaru Larabi was an answer. They were at home and they lost by two goals to one. Obakar Yawuza scored for Kinfayazo and then Mohamed Fad. Find space and a center for it. Aladdin, and it you sense it. Yet you here, lifts it. And wow, it nearly came in. And Nabila finds some of the runs on the right hand side. And Amwako looking to hit this one. Amwako does. And of the bad is there from the right foot back. Good job, Amwako. And uh, he's looking to uh, take some time off again. Oh, the lovely strike there from Koja Mwakon. Oh, that's a Zaire for there, but Masia Santiago de Cobra. Don't see Oluma came in to win. A lovely play here. Bekani, player pushed to ground, looking for the call here by the referee. Would not be given. Was right in front of the position have and looking to pick up uh, Kujamwa onto the far post. Yeah, Ashgold 
And then another header comes out for Ares Bakani able to get the ball crouch. Another long ball forward here. Black stay down. And this is going to be Leich here. And Leich gets the cross back, comes back into play. Could have been a third there for Ares Bakani. Ash scored in trouble.